Next number is 33, Mr. Bill Stevens. Good evening, Mr. Mayor and members of the council. My name is Bill Stevens. I'm from Austin, Texas, 823 Congress Avenue, Suite 1010. Uh, I am a uh, uh, oil and gas uh, lobbyist, I guess would be the term you'd, you would use. I'm it is not a solution to ban hydraulic fracturing. Uh, I was uh, asked to come here tonight by the leadership of the Texas Alliance of Energy Producers. I no longer work for them, but I am uh, a consultant for them. And I was asked to come tonight and ask uh, to volunteer, uh, volunteer our organization and to ask you to work, let's work towards some other solutions. Can, can we come together and negotiate it? I don't, I don't know what that looks like. And people in the industry will work with you. I've not been back here working on it in the last 10 years. That's not been my job, but I've been asked to come back here now. We would be happy to do that. I think there are others in this room uh, that you've heard from this evening, including two elected officials. I appreciate you speak in terms of solutions because it means you recognize that there's problems. And for, for the last three years that I've sat here on council, we've been dealing with those problems through ordinances, uh, through legal uh, routes, through lobbying the legislature. Uh, I even sat for six months across the table from one of our uh, industries here in town, and I haven't found the magic solution. <laughs> and you're one of a long list of folks that are suggesting that there's some solution that we haven't come across yet that if only we sit down, and to be frank, you, you haven't come to us prior to this point, uh, and no, no one really has. So can you just give us a glimpse, because I think that's going to be a common theme coming from the industry tonight that there's some solution if we just sit down, you want to come and help us, we'll sit at the table. Give me a glimpse of what that solution might be to give me some hope that there's some meaning in that. Well, one thing I would like to say, uh, and before I uh, answer that question, is that, and Mayor, you've alluded to it, and now you are again. This is a much harder position than we were in in 2002 and that you were in in 2002 as a city when you were considering an ord ordinance. I believe Councilman Roden asked a question and, and I'm, I'm, sorry. Not, I'm not sure that. Yeah, so, so there, are, there are no solutions that you're offering at this point or even uh, alluding to. Is that, is that fair no, to say? No, I'm not. I wouldn't, I, wouldn't be so, uh, I wouldn't be so bold. Thank you. What's going on here tonight has an awful lot to do with, with uh, some some players in the industry uh, insisting that that they can drill 200 feet from people's homes because they're vested, um, and if if the technology allows them to be further away to drill, uh, that that could that could ease the burden on the neighborhoods, ease the burden on uh, a lot of the property owners, and uh, still allow the mineral owners to uh, receive their their the value from their property. Yes, sir. I think so. I think in the abstract, you are exactly right. But that's in the abstract. Yes, we the horizontal drilling today. You drill the vertical hole here, and you, you can and you can then horizontally go. And I don't know that we're going to go uh, two miles, but certainly you can. You, and actually, you can. You can go ten thousand feet out. We've gone from drilling, uh, you know, an eight thousand foot vertical well, uh, you know, for. Seven hundred and fifty a million dollars, you know, to oh, drilling the eight thousand foot vertical and and you know eight to ten thousand feet horizontal, uh, up to eight to ten million dollars. And yes, you have you you have, but it's all based on rate of return and how quickly right. it comes back and the amount of pay that you've cut, et cetera, et cetera, that makes that worthwhile. Uh, but it is tremendously expensive up front to do so. Let's go down the list of, of objections I might throw out if I were the operator you were asking uh, to move. Well, we could, we could take that list of objections and lay yes. them up next to the yeah. list of objections from the neighbors That's right. that are experiencing some other kinds and, of and, and I want to have this conversation. We want to have this conversation and see if we can't get back to where we were, uh, where I thought we left off 10 years. And, and again, uh, you know, 10 or 12 years ago, uh, there were very few wells even being drilled in, in Denton County. And uh, now, you, now we have run kind of head on into ourselves. And I think that's both as a council and as an industry, uh, we're doing that. We can get this done, but a ban, a solution of, of, of banning hydraulic fracturing uh, is, not, is not a solution. 
Uh, uh, All right. Uh, Council Member Engelbrecht. Uh, thank you, Mayor. Frankly, uh, for those of the, in this room who don't know, we were one of the first cities in Texas to look at regulation and, and actually were considered a leader and had this great ordinance. Little did we know, because we didn't know that much about the industry really, uh, uh, what, uh, what shortcomings we had in that ordinance. And I want to point out to you, I, I have to say this now, you know, uh, the other thing we didn't know was that we're at the edge of the Barnett Shale. We're not in the sweet spot. And we have, at best, second-tier operators, and we're going to have, I believe, third-tier and fourth-tier operators before this is all done. And that creates, uh, a, a, to me, real problems for us writing regulations and for us enforcing those regulations, as well as the whole issue of, of vested rights of older wells. Uh, I, I hope you're... Uh, uh, and I know you may not be. I'd hope you would stay around. I would like to talk to you after uh, this is. Uh, <laughs> after yes, if, sir. If you're really that he's on he's by enough. the hour. Yes, sir. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. I, I guess the only comment I would have, Mr. Stevens, is first of all, thank you for coming. But I think you can hear the frustration uh, from from the uh, from the community from the members on council here who've been working on this this issue for a couple of years that it has to come to this point where we've got over 500 people sitting in different various locations within this municipal complex uh, to uh, advocate for their interest. But, uh, but I certainly hope that with all the industry representatives that have come before us uh, and will probably come before us in the future here with these next, gosh, 70 or so speakers, that we can really figure out a solution because I think as Councilmember Roden had pointed out, it's, it's real easy to, to say that, but then when, when it really gets down to the rubber meeting the road, we've got to make sure that we, we find that solution, the, the threading of the needle that will help us to be able to provide for the health and safety uh, and welfare of our citizens with responsible drilling practices. So I appreciate you coming and speaking with us, but I, I hope that the industry is hearing the real true problem that we face here. I mean, we've never gotten this much attention on this issue until it came to this point. And in some ways that's a little frustrating, uh, but if that's what it takes to really try to find a comprehensive solution, then, then, then that's what it takes. So thank you.